Hey everyone, my name is Justin Odisho, and in this Adobe Premiere Pro tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a sunset, pinkish, vibrant color grading. And I got the inspiration for this from Jaden Smith's new music video for his song Fallen. Also, before we begin this video, if you guys want to follow me on Instagram and Twitter to stay up to date with what I'm doing, you can follow me at Justin Odisho. I love connecting with you guys on there. So I'll leave links to that as well. So in that music video, it's got some really nice shots overlooking this valley or kind of mountain area. And it's a nice sunset and you got this deep pink and blue color. Now first things first, when it comes to recreating any type of color grading, you want to take into account the actual video that you're taking in the camera before you even get it to your editing software. So if we're trying to recreate this deep sunset color effect, it's going to help a lot if we actually shoot the video at sunset time. It sounds like common sense and it should be obvious, but I get a lot of questions on how certain effects are made and you got to train your eye to remember to break it down into what was done in the camera and what were the natural lighting conditions of that shot and then what did they do to create the exact effect. So in this case we've got a nice pinkish yellowish blue sky and it'll be the perfect starting point for us to actually create that deep sunset color. So I have a little sequence of clips put together on my timeline all shot around the same time of day and location and in order to begin adding the color effects I'm actually going to add them on a new adjustment layer on a track over the clips. So highlight your project media bin and then go to file new adjustment layer press ok and you should see that empty black adjustment layer pop up in your media bin. You can now click and drag this over your clips and expand it over several clips so you can add your adjustments without having to do them on each separate clip. Now we can begin working on that sunset color. So open up your Lumetri color tab and let's work sequentially down here. So under basic correction, here's where we can begin really warming up the temperature of the colors. So under the white balance, you should see the temperature slider and what you want to do is take it and drag it over to the warm side. That'll immediately make it a lot more golden looking, really pull out those sunset colors. But you don't want to get too harsh with it to the point where the skin starts to look weird. And then you also want to take the tint of that temperature and turn it more towards the pinkish purple side. Because we're going for that pink and blue look. So find a good balance that isn't obviously too strong but still influences the color nicely. If you want to preview what you're doing, you can always uncheck the correction box. And see what it looks like before and after or hide the visibility of your entire adjustment layer track to see how far you've come. Continuing on with our basic corrections what I like to do next is actually turn down the highlights a bit so oftentimes when you have a sky it might be a little bit too bright or overexposed in your original shot so by turning down the highlights a bit it allows some of that detail to come back and really lets it become more influenced by the temperature and tint adjustments. So you can turn on the highlights, you can turn on the whites a little bit. Quick tip, if you ever want to reset any adjustments in Premiere, you can just double click on them and they should go back to zero. So that's what I'll do for the basic correction tab. You can see it already creates a really nice effect. And next you want to head over to the creative tab. Now in the original music video, there's a bit of that faded film look and Lucky for us, Premiere actually has a built-in setting for this right under the Creative tab. So I'll turn up that faded film look a bit just to soften up the blacks and the shadows of the image and give us a softer vintage feel. That's all I'm going to do in the Creative tab. And lastly, I'm going to open up the Curves Adjustment tool. Now here we have a really powerful tool to influence each of the individual color channels exactly how we want. So each color channel is represented by this line and the right side influences the highlights of that channel and the left side is the shadows. So the white circle is the red, green, blue or all color channel which just influences the contrast. Then you have red, green and blue separately. Now if you understand how the color channels work together in basic color theory, then you'd know that if you take the green out of the highlights in the green color channel, then that lets that purplish tint creep in. Same thing if you take the blue out of the blue channel, that gives it a more yellow vibe. So this is something that you just kind of have to learn and practice with time to understand how to influence your photo. But in order to get more of a sunset pink and blue look, what I'm going to do is go to the green channel, turn down the green just a bit to get more of that deep pink, but I'll also move this point to the left so that it doesn't 
influence the skin too much and it's not giving overall pink look it's only giving a pink look on the highlights next i'm going to go to the blue color channel and i'll lift the blues up in the shadows just slightly to create a more blue tone in the shadows then i'll head over to the red color channel and if i pull some red out of the shadows that'll create a more blue overcast look on the shadows and the skin and the darker parts and I can be really subtle with all of these adjustments until I get exactly the color tone that I want and that works well for my original shot. Lastly, and this is optional, you can open up the vignette tab and if it makes your shot look nicer, you can add a very slight vignette which is just going to add some shadow around the edges. I like to feather it quite a bit and turn the midpoint up so it doesn't creep too far into the photo, but that's what it would look like with a, with a vignette around the edges. And then if you need, I would go back to each of the sections like creative and basic and slightly tweak some of the settings and just make sure everything blends and mixes together nicely. Quick tip to keep in mind, if all of your clips are around the same lighting conditions and area, then you should be able to use the same adjustment layer over all of them. But if some of your clips start being a little bit different in exposure or contrast, then you might want to take this base adjustment layer that you made press C to go to your chop tool and then chop it for each of the clips that you want to slightly adjust it and if this clip needed a little bit less exposure then I could take this chopped section of the adjustment layer go back to the lumetri color and then slightly tweak it based on the needs of each of these specific clips so let's play that back and take a look at our final effect and I think it works really nicely over all the clips to create a really deep pink sunset color effect and matches the inspiration of that original music video. But that's how you create the effect. If you guys enjoyed this video, definitely leave a like on it below. If you guys missed yesterday's tutorial on how to create the J. Cole music video color grading effect, I'll leave a link to that. Definitely click here to check it out. And subscribe to my channel to stay tuned for all types of new creative videos. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.